Welcome to Macro Microcosm Literary Review. Today we are reviewing the science fiction novella The Freeze Frame Revolution by sci fi rock star and Hugo Award winning author Peter Watts, published by Tachyon. I was recommended this novella from one of the Macro Microcosm listeners in a frenzy of, I need to hear what you think! Thankfully, my local public library had a copy, and I availed myself of the special treat of trotting to the wealth of communal literature and cracking open the spine of fellow Canadian Peter Watt's latest adventure. The Freeze Frame Revolution is everything I love about science fiction in one concise tome, which, if pressed, is another of those wonders I enjoy. A good science fiction story requires not page count, but emphasis, and this novella punches so far above its weight I sat back upon its completion lost in thought. Twists and bends as complex as the gravitational pull of black holes in a stellar nursery kept my fingers flipping pages. Endless pots of coffee gave me as many jitters as the protagonist Sunday's timeless jaunts into consciousness. Watts is one of the best world-builders of the Canadian literary scene, taking potentially exhausted tropes and turning them sideways with quiet gravitas and as much intensity as stellar fission. One caveat I would give for the freeze frame revolution is if you are not one for astrophysics, a bit of brushing up would not be remiss. The science in Watts' work is pristine as functional as my engineer uncle's diagrams. Peter Watts strikes me as the kind of author who expects intelligence from his readers. References are written in deftly and gleaned over without further definition of term. There is no hand-holding in his prose. What is there is the freeze frame revolution as an emotionally endearing protagonist struggling with sapience and the machine she loved. A hipster's hal called the Chimp, who to me is the second best character in the novella. Sunday Asmodin, our narrator and protagonist, is the perfect hard science voice. Equal parts ethos and electrifying, Sunday's vision of the gate-building rock ship Aerophora brings enough familiarity into the setting to hold a reader's interest the whole way through. The Chimp, Aerophora's AI, reminds me of a successful hipster hal from 2001 A Space Odyssey. I rooted for the AI, feeling a kindness and emotional fragility in the program, which to me was the best counterpoint to the intrigue in the book. Struggling between self-determination and duty, the rush of the freeze-frame revolution strikes out for personhood over galactic eons. The ship itself is fascinating, and as a lover of science fiction weaned on Star Trek and cyberpunk, it was the perfect synthesis of semi-organic ship and fantasy. I caught the familiar whiff of an eccentric ship built upon a new, more organic framework, contained by the classic vocabulary akin to Philip K. Dick. The Freeze Frame Revolution is one of the most intrinsically creative novellas I've read in years. It brings me back to the cyberpunk stories I loved as a teenager, glutting myself on the relative classics written in that hazy time before I was born, or when I was too young to read them. Dystopic without the depression, the intrigue of the Freeze Frame Revolution carries the reader through an impossible timeline in an original and refreshing way. If you like science fiction where the science plays first violin, The Freeze Frame Revolution is your perfect new book. My one largest negative in the prose was a sense of guttural detachment from the emotion I knew Sunday was feeling. As everything is written in first person with cleverly concealed secret messages in the prose, thanks again Peter for expecting intelligence from us, I still wished for it to be more vulnerable. It was gritty without vulgarity. A roaring web of intriguing strings collecting together at crux points cleverly devised. The ending kept me guessing, and I was glad for the last push. All in, the freeze frame revolution was clever, intelligent, endearing, and a worthy romp. If this is the continuation of the future of Canadian science fiction, we, like the crew of the Aerophora, are in excellent hands. If you have a book you would like to be reviewed, please visit our website. The link is in the description box down below. Please follow us on social media at Macromicacosm on Twitter and subscribe to our podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Podbean, and our YouTube channel at Vreda Film for weekly reviews. Thank you for your time and have a fantastically creative day.